Uh, yeah, uh, hey, uh, a moment. It's, it's only uh, me again. Uh, I, I hope you had a, a lovely evening. And uh, listen, I, I was wondering when you're coming back. Uh, it's only uh, I, I uh, could do with borrowing uh, the car. Uh, so, you know, just just, just let me know. There's, there's no rush, but, uh, you know, if it's sooner rather than later, then, then that, that would be great. Thanks. Hey, uh, you heard about Graham's car? No. She's coming back, middle of nowhere, over the peaks, uh, gets a flat tire. This morning? Yeah. She was rushing because you left her six messages. Luckily, Kevin saved the day. What? She's blaming you, so you better be careful. Reckons whatever you've put in that roof box caused the blowout. Kept sliding about up there. Oh, sewing machines. I was taking them to get fixed. The sooner she gets home, the sooner I can do that. Well, well maybe Kevin can put them in his truck. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need. I just... Chippings. Yeah. So last week it was charcoal, you know, for the barbecue. It's like up to 75% off, but it goes in your junk mail. So most people don't see it, so keep your eyes peeled. Well, what would I want with wood chippings or charcoal? You should shop local. Fresh goes is local. Poppycock. Mm. Morning. You heard about Grand's car? There was this lad at my school called Justin. We called him News. As in News Justin. Witty. Forget about him. Whoever he is, you got too much going on. Don't let this clown derail you. I didn't go to school with a Justin. I don't think I've ever even met one. And news is all right. Copped off with him at a party once. <laughs> I think this could be him. Oh, he go on you. Oh, he went to live in Australia. Are you going to answer that? I don't recognise the number. So? What if it's him? Well, then you can get to the bottom of it. Ask him what his game is. Do you want me to speak to him? No. Your admirer. <sighs> Can't have taken that long to muck out a chinchilla. Yeah, but it's a bit of a mood killer. Oh, I'm sure. And to be honest, Sal, even when we do do it, it is all a bit mechanical without going into any details just well it's crash bang wall up go to sleep and i really don't want things to end up like they were before hey um you know tim and i have been uh, experimenting for quite a while now do i really want to know this well if it's getting predictable then yeah go on then well, a bit of role-playing. So last week, Tim was an airline pilot and I was an air stewardess. Long haul, obviously. And I was married to an older man who worked well. Maybe we should park it there. We found ourselves alone in the cockpit. Yeah, I get the picture. Only Tim had seen this pilot's outfit in a charity shop in Gatley. And he still had the, uh, the cap from your wedding. I don't think I can see Tyrone as a pilot, really, though. Well, I've, I've been a nurse. Everyone starts there. And Tim's been a, a, a plumber and a dentist. Mm, gone for a fill-in, had you? Oh, that was. I was a driving instructor and that was really naughty. Have you got a dressing up box? Well, we wore our own clothes for that one, but my skirt was inappropriately short. You have, haven't you, Sally? You've got a dressing up Shh. box. You can have a rummage if you want. It's all been washed. No, thank you. End of conversation. So many questions, though, which put me on the spot. If we don't get the support, we don't get the funding, which means no refugee centre. You should do a drop-in so people can raise their concerns. Mm. Yeah, this place in the precinct, though, it's not ready to host anything like that. It's basically just an empty box. I don't even know who's got the keys. Well, you could do it here. I could close for an hour one afternoon and advertise it on social media. Mm. <laughs> Maybe Gary will put his hand up. Oh, he's still not behind it? No. It frightens him. Well, he's just worried about you, that's all. Let them come and ask questions. Yeah, we're in this mess because resentment simmered too long. Mm. Now, all this anger pointed in the wrong direction. Mm. We ignored it. Will you please stop that? Someone's there to see you. Oh, you're back. Oh, 
Did I have a choice? Mr. 10,000 voicemails, Mr. Oh, hurry up, I want the car. Mm. It's across the road. Oh, yeah, I've got spares. Mm. Oh, I, I heard about Kevin. It's that blasted roof box. I mean, all the extra weight. If I hadn't found Kevin, I'd probably have frozen to death up there. I'm sorry. What's in it anyway? That roof box? Uh, sewing machines. Sewing machines? Oh, <laughs> No wonder every corner I took, they were swirling about. Yeah, but I'm, I'm getting them fixed. Well, the sooner you take that thing off, the better. I'm on it. Yeah. And you better take me home first, come on. No, on second thoughts, I'll go and pester Gail. Then you can hurry up and do whatever it is you're hurrying up to do. Thank okay. You, See you later. Yes, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> what was that, your pocket money, or did you forget your lunch? I, I told her not to disturb me with work. Right, I'm off to the accountants. Hold the fort. When are you back? Why? Uh, when, no reason. Well, I won't be long. Are you sure there's no one you can think of? Well, you got in touch with me old school mates. Did you give them my number? No. Are you done with these? Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> I don't think it's anyone I know. Well, then how have they got your number? Unless... You don't put it on all your social media stuff, do you? You've got no idea, have you? You posted a picture of your new toothbrush last week. I, I thought it was a nice colour. Well, a cynic might say you were craving attention and now you've got the wrong kind. So this is my fault. Did I say that? Yeah, yeah, you said it's my fault because I posted a picture of my toothbrush. All I'm saying is, it could be anyone. Someone who's reading your posts. A total stranger who feels like they know you. Well, I should be free to post whatever I like, within reason. And it still doesn't explain how they got a hold of my number. Right, let me ring it. No. Why not? Because then you're playing into their hands, you're giving them what they want. Not if we call from my phone. I can pretend to be a telemarketer. Come on, what's the worst that can happen? All right. <coughs> uh -huh. Automated voicemail. Mm -hmm. the person you're calling is on another call. I'll leave a message. No. Don't bother. Look, we acted like idiots. I didn't realise who you were. But you say out loud what everyone's thinking. That's the future, bro. Because nobody used to be able to do that. Freedom of speech, yeah. innit? Does that include hate speech? What's it got to do with you? A fair amount, actually. So they can ask you questions? Right. AKA, gather all the idiots in one place so they can throw abuse at you, yeah. No, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later on. Yeah, bye. Oh, speaking of idiots. Can you just call us idiots? What can I get you? Just get uh, two cappuccinos, please. Come on, let's go. No, we shouldn't have to leave because of him. Anyway, he works at a junk shop. The future of this country, eh? What have we become? Yeah, Chesney. Mm. How many litres do you reckon that is? Uh, oh, 400, five, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Could do one of them myself. Yeah, I bet. I've been toying with the idea, you know, for like camping or whatnot. Mm. Like having an extension. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Stephen. Hi. Hey, did you hear about Grant's tyre? Oh, I did. Um, the thing stood up there in the freezing cold wait for Kevin's turn up. No, could have been worse. No, um, she's blaming that roof box. I know, I know. Oh, um, yesterday, was the CCTV on? CCTV? Yeah, because, like, me and Michael we went in the factory. Ah, well, that, that didn't occur to me. How, how do I switch it off? Do you know what? I think you should just wipe it to be on the safe side. The last thing I need is Carla scrolling through, seeing what we're up to. Yeah, how, how do I get rid of Has it? Has she not shown you? No. OK. It's very similar to the one that we had in Milan. So you log into the main system, then you go to security. You're going to write it down? Uh, uh, I don't have a pen. Just use your phone. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pen. What's this? 1953. Um. OK. So... Main system. Main. Yeah. Oh, perfect. See you tomorrow. More interest. Yeah. Dave. 
this is going to explode this. I've got this woman coming round tomorrow, two kids, one deaf, and Mum's looking for more cleaning work. You have to set a limit, you know. I made a list. All the activities, look. Drawing, painting, watching telly, dragging up, karaoke. Karaoke? No, I don't want to be coming back to a sea of kids belting out tunes all afternoon. The only sound you're going to hear is the cash register. ka -ching! I'll do my bit. I, I had a dream last night. Oh, I know. You're mumbling away, chatting on about bacon and Monterey Jack. Well, that makes sense. Go on, then. You'll see. Stephen Reed wanted. All good at the accountants. Is that what you were doing? Cleaning up after yourself? Uh, Wordle. Really? On company time? It's my coffee break. Then where's your coffee? I finished it. Stephen stopped lying to me. I know exactly what you were doing. You were getting rid of the evidence. set the scene for you this place yesterday afternoon. I wasn't here. Well, who was? Uh, nobody had sent them all home. So how do you explain this? What is it? Well, it's a label. Oh, one of ours? <laughs> well, from what I can make out, this belongs to Sarah and Michael's little sideline. You know, the one they left this place to pursue. Only it seems that they've been using these premises. Who do you think could have facilitated that for them? Not me. Oh, no? So, they broke in. Gosh. Sean? Yes, Mrs B, I'm here. Do you know anything about that? What's that? At the risk of repeating myself, it's a label. Yeah, it's not one of ours. No, thank you, Sherlock. It's Sarah's and Michael's. It's their new business. They're making novelty pyjamas. Uh, they're producing matching lounge suits for parents and children. So I understand. <laughs> And you found that in here? Yeah. They're using the premises like the borrowers. <gasps> well, who let them in? Well, that's what we're trying to ascertain. Have you got any suggestions? Well, it wasn't me. No, phew, Sean. Well, that's you out of the running. So, should we call in Fizz next? Can I go? You're dismissed. Ah, <gasps> uh, I was right, by the way. He has gone to us. Who? The, the Justin I know accepted my friend request. In the middle of the night? Oh, he's having a right time of it. He's a personal trainer in Perth. <gasps> Look at the state of his wife. Oofed. Jarvilla Central. Oh, but he'll be gorgeous in that climate. Could have been me out there if I played my cards right. The one that got away. One of many days. One of many. Well, 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 what a coincidence. You see, I come in to find you furtively hunched over the computer. And lo and behold, yesterday's CCTV is magically gone. Listen, why don't you tell me where you found it and I can help you figure it out. Never mind where I found it. Listen, if you're gonna play dumb, Lennon Cohen, I will go and speak to Sarah. And I guess I'll have to speak to Michael. And then if I'm still not happy, I will go and speak to the police. You know, I'm really getting tired of the Canadian jibes. You called me Alanis Morissette this no, morning. No, I didn't. I called you Joni Mitchell. Yeah, and Seth Rogen the other day, and Keanu Reeves. Yes, you should be flattered. Well, how would you like it? Oh, will take it up with HR. I'm warning you, you on very thin ice. Oh, and for the record, I am HR. With everything, did you say? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, you should name that kebab after me. You know, like you do in the US diners. That one should be the Michael Bailey, and then he'd be like, uh, give me uh, two Baileys and hold the mail. 
Right, well, some beef in the fridge needs cooking by tomorrow. Somebody opened the wrong packet, Chesney. Wasn't me. I, I can take it off your hands, though. Yeah, what do you want with ten pounds of beef? I can practice with it. Practice what? But that's for me to know. Well, right, let's have it out. Yasmin's food wasting this stiff, so do your worst. Hey, five breakdowns in one morning. Can you believe it? Five? Naren's at his dad's. Abby's off sick. Well, what are they? Kev just locked up. I mean, we couldn't take it anymore. Uh, are you happy with our sex life? What? Well, Ty, we've only been married five minutes and it's already... Well, it's gone a bit stale. Stale? Yeah, it's nothing to worry about. Just let's talk about it this time. Right, well, what is there to say? Honestly, you blokes, you're so flipping shy. That Alina had you for breakfast. Sorry. Don't want you to comment on that, don't worry. Look, I won't leave you. I should hope not. <laughs> I won't leave you either. Not after everything we've been through. But, you know, we could spice things up a bit, surely. What do you have in mind? Well, I could see you as a pilot. Have you been talking to Sally? No. Why? Well, I don't matter. Steve said that Tim and Sally liked to do a bit of role play. He dressed up as a pilot and she dressed up as an air hostess. Mm -hmm. And? What well, and what? Okay, full disclosure, I did speak to Sally. I knew it. What? And now you want us to go dress in a while? Am I best not to ask? Yeah. yeah. That barbecue for his daughter's birthday. Are you still going on about that? Let it go. Oh, I do like them fairy lights. Look at that sunset. The view from the balcony overlooking the ocean. How the other half live. What, what ocean could that be? Is that Atlantic or Pacific? On the west coast of ours? Uh, I don't know. Indian. Indian? Nowhere near Australia. <laughs> yes, love. Yeah, I'll just go change this barrel. Does that mean the battle's off? Oh, she won't be a tick. Sorry, I'm driving anyway. I'll just have a ginger ale if you've got one. Coming up. So, how are you? Me? Yeah, I'm okay. Mopping up beer all day, you know, living the dream. Sorry, I wasn't being nosy. It's me. We met at the hospital. Yes, yes, of course. Your, your mother. That's right. Oh, we're just planning ahead. She's still with us. Good. Good. I'm really glad to hear it. And you? Yeah. I'm still with us, too. You had a scare? Yeah. Well remembered, but I'm fine. Good. I've been thinking about you. A lot. <laughs> I'm sorry? Daisy? Yeah? Yeah, how, how did you know? The nurse called your name out. Daisy Midgley. That's right. Did you like your flowers? <laughs> Typical. Shall I get the kids there? Oh, oh. so just cutting out. Yeah, let's give him a push. Where to? The garage is shut. Oh, there's no one there? No. Uh, what's wrong with it? Kev's already seen Sweet Ones today, and yeah, she got a blowout in the Peak District. She blamed this thing, apparently. Oh, wow, well, what you got in here? Uh, uh, no, nothing. It's 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 uh, it's empty. Listen, I'm, I'm sure if I could get it moving, it'll 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 start. Where are you going? Uh, to a meeting. Oh. Uh, Nick said this were full of old sewing machines. Uh, but yeah, it, it was. But I've I've taken them all out now. So. How long are you gonna be? 
Why? I could do with borrowing a car this afternoon. But uh, take your own. No, I, what fresh goes I've got a sale on. It's like wood chippings, everything must go, so this had come in handy. Right, we're pushing this all up. Yeah, let's get yeah. a push. Right. Three, two, one. But you still got a brake on. I know. Is that empty? It weighs a ton. Maybe you still got your old sewing machines in there. Hey, listen, just, just, just push. Right, give him one more. Three, two, one. Hang on, stop, stop. He's not got. You don't got any petrol, Stephen. I don't believe it. So he stitched you up there, pal. Pardon the pull. Tell you what. I'll take these. What? Right, you take my car. Right, come on. Come on. I'll go get some petrol, and then I can go straight to Freshco's and get those wood chippings, and you can get to your meeting. Yeah, what a beautiful nephew you got there. See, he's just misunderstood. <laughs> just the key for the roof box. I'm not sure. I'll just give it a try. Yeah. No, it, it, it is. There's, there's no need to try it. What's up with you? I, I may as well just come with you. I can't be giving you a lift to no meeting. I've got criminals to catch. Take his car, like he said. Mm. Right, well, uh, I'm off. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Well, I think I've got a canister in the house, so I'll, I'll fetch that. That better be empty. Good luck. You owe me one. When I went to get the results of my mammogram. No. We exchanged pleasantries and, and sympathies in a hospital waiting room during a very stressful time. How did you know where she worked? I figured it out off my socials. Pictures outside the pub. You just know what Daniel's gonna say about that. The boyfriend. Fiance. Yeah, bombarding her with flowers. Did you think she'd be flattered? Do you think she'd just jump into your arms? I know it's an awkward situation with Daniel, but you could just break it off. Look, things are tricky for you right now. I'm sure caring for a parent can take its toll, but there has been a misunderstanding. Was it you that kept calling her? Sorry? I how many phone calls from that number? Eleven. I don't have your number. I only sent you the flowers, the daisies, because of your name. If you were called Rose, I would have sent roses. I think it's best you leave. I'm free on Wednesday. Mum's going for some more treatment Thursday morning, so I shouldn't stay out too late. <laughs> You're not following, sunshine. Hop it. I hope things turn out as best they can for your mum. I'll keep you posted. Yeah, yeah. Read the room. Yeah. She don't want to see or hear from you ever again. No more flowers. Bye, Daisy. Do you want to make it to me, eh? There was no meeting. Ah, hi there. It's all very civilised. It's the last supper. <laughs> well, I'm not sure the apostles ate pre-packed sandwiches from fresh goes. Sim, it's a shame about Leo and Teddy. Losing touch. Hey, Leo, he, um, he seemed like a, a decent lad. By all accounts. Yeah, when, when someone wasn't answering my messages, it was agony. What did his dad do in the end? In the end? To go back to Canada or...? Yeah, he, he should uh, he should be there by now. Let's hope they reunite. There's every chance. You seem troubled. Uh, no, uh, actually, I feel quite calm for the first time in a while. Good. Oh, I, you believe in hell? Oh, well, it's um, it's a, a bigger question than most people think. Yeah. The thought of the afterlife it brings comfort to. Followers of most religions. Unless you're going to hell. Yeah. Well, there's, there's always time to repent. Ask for forgiveness. I'm a good listener if there's, if there's something you feel you've done wrong. You'll see. I'm intrigued. Where to begin? Hmm? Men. Very discreet. I, I shouldn't be, uh... 
taking up your time. Yeah. It's all I've got to offer. I'm, I'm not a paying customer. It didn't work like that. Although all donations to the church are gratefully received. Cheers. See ya. Busy day. No, I just window shopping. Oh, I popped into the charity shop for a couple, <coughs> even though Roy wasn't there. Oh, how's Joy? Joyless, that's what they should call her. Oh, I mean, she can't take a joke. Why, what have you done now? Well, she was selling some student a dog-eared old copy of the Iliad, and I just said, oh, Joy, did you mark this up at 199 because it's the first edition? You're rotten, you are. Well, she had to inspect it, you know. I was the expert and the student was having to hold it in. Well, and was it really a first edition? Are you going to tell him or shall I? <laughs> it was the Iliad, Tyrone. Homer. Oh, what? No, please don't say The Simpsons. Well, did you know that? Yeah, of course I did. Yes. Right, I am going to get myself in a nice bath. Daft bat, she didn't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you're tight playing tricks on her like that. I walked in on something earlier, didn't I? Uh, yeah, you did. A private conversation. <sighs> Are you two having problems? <sighs> because do not mess this up again, Tyra. Not this time. If you've got something wrong, discuss it with her. That's what we was doing. And do not seek solace in the arms of another Romanian. Oh, please, just make it stop. Dan, I think we need to get some of that biodegradable packaging. Yeah, is it more expensive, though? Oh, uh, well, I'll look into it, but I just think with the market that we're going for, it's going to wrap it up. Ah! Found you. Hey, um, how you doing? Not very well. I come to mention it. See, I don't like being given the runaround from my former employees. You screening my calls? Oh, um, are you, are you trying to trying to call me? You and all? Uh, no, well, we've been busy, so. Oh, please, I'm embarrassed for you. Did Brian Adams tip you off today? Who? Sorry. Yes, you should be sorry, Sarah. Because if I find out for sure you have been using my factory after hours, I will have the pair of you prosecuted. <laughs> <laughs> but it shouldn't need to come to that, should it, Michael? No, because we haven't been using your factory. So you just came and dropped this on the floor strategically, did you? You're so paranoid. I checked the CCTV. All right. Um, yes. Yeah, so what, what did it? What did it show? Well, yesterday's action was mysteriously missing, which I'm guessing you helped your uncle do because. He hasn't got the password. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right, what can I get you? I was a good boss to you, Michael. But, you know, good luck with this little venture. You're gonna need it. There will be doors closing to you all over the mm. industry. Threats now. Same goes for you. Yeah, you weren't good to me, though, were you? You treated me like a skivvy. I mean, the stuff with the Christmas cards. Oh, you didn't know you played. Oh! <laughs> you can scoff all you like. But you two, taking advantage of me like this? is tacky and shameful, not to mention illegal. To be continued. Well, that's you told. <laughs> so you don't think he's coming back, but you're not sure? It's like he was humouring me. Like he thought I was winking at him. That I was saying, I don't want your flowers, and saying I'm engaged, but what I really wanted was for him to come and rescue me. I swore he hadn't called her, though. So who's been ringing you all day? I don't know. Should we try the number again? Yeah. Well, I know you're not the type to while away an afternoon on a bench with a bottle of cheap red blanc. Three ninety-nine. It's about my level. She fired you. Carla. No. But it makes no difference now. 
Well, you're a fun drunk, I'll give you that. I'm not drunk. Come on, I'll make you a coffee. And Gary? Well, I did try again. He says that he's on board, but I can tell it's an effort. Have you talked to Liam about any of this? Yeah, of course I have. I bought him stupid. <laughs> Actually, he just reminded me. I'm just going to go and make sure he switched his PS3 off. Why Gary said that he could have it in his room, I don't know. All right. All right. She's doing an amazing thing. Yeah, and if the world was full of amazing people, then I'd be cheering her on. I am cheering her on. The world is full of amazing people, and a load of them are displaced right now. They're miles away from their homes, their schools, their families. Yeah, I know that, but look what happened. He's behind bars. Well, there's still thousands more like him out there. Stephen, can you call me, please, when you get this? Um, she's on to us. She knows. Yeah, she, she knows that I've helped you wipe the footage. Um, so, yeah, not good. Anyway, I'm going to have to go. Ah! For your uncle. Strongest deaf cells. All right, where is he? Recovering in my lounge. Oh. Wear him out, did you? Yeah. <laughs> no, I found him round the corner drinking cheap red wine. Thought Carla might have fired him. Oh, don't say that. What? Well, he said that she hadn't, but who knows? You know, he wasn't being very communicative. So. Oh, oh, sorry. Just wait there, wait, wait there. It's just my brother, one sec. Hiya, you right? What? No, I can't hear you, David. No, no, the signal's back. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me now? Hello? Oh, look, I'd I, I best get back, because I promised him one of these, so. OK, can I, can I come with you? Yeah, be my guest. You haven't been in touch for years. Years. Oh, love, I've been terribly busy. On a houseboat in Amsterdam. All right, I'm a terrible mother. That's not news to anyone. I grant you. So, you found out I'm getting married through whatever convoluted channels and you're what? Uh, nothing convoluted about it. I found out from Lynn McDowell. She told me how excited I must be that you finally decided to grow up. First of all, I resent that. Who's Lynn McDowell? My old friend, Samantha's mum. Samantha's one of the ones that you decided to get in touch with. Behind me back. I see. One of the ones that I don't stay in touch with because I no longer like them. No, she does really. You know what girls are like. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one getting it. I thought I was doing something nice. Oh, love, welcome to the Daisy first. We all thought we were doing something nice. <laughs> By fleeing the country and texting me twice a year. Do you know what? You can't win. When did you get a new phone? What? Why? You could have put my number in it. Uh, I did. How did they have found you? No, I mean saved it. With me name. That's a faff. You didn't know how to do it, did you? Are you getting this coffee or shall I? Oh, I'll give it here. Mm. Christina Midgley. Jenny Bradley. Connor. Mm. Boyd. What's she doing here? Everything is under control. Oh, who's this? You wrecked any marriages lately? <laughs> Yours was in tatters before I came along. She has been learning jujitsu. Stephen. So. So. Tell me everything. I think you'd better uh, sit down. Win £10,000 every month for 30 years. Play on app. Set for life from the National Lottery. Daddy! Welcome back, doctors. Oh, you've been on maternity leave for two years. I need some help in here, please! 
If you're a mother, you're a doctor, have you ever considered one might make you better at the other? Maternal continues tonight at nine on ITV1 and ITVX. Who's in the doghouse this week? Argos sponsors Coronation Street. I might as well take it from the top. What did it all because of a label? I'm sorry? I mean, there's, there's no proof. I mean, she can't sack you. And if she has, you know you can take her to the cleaners. I mean, it's it's a label. It proves nothing. Oh, I shouldn't have asked you to help. I just, uh, you've already done so much. <laughs> David... Why? What's he got to do with it? He borrowed Mum's car. Yes. Oh, that wood chippings. Honestly, if I've heard about it once, yeah, he wants to uh, put them in the flower beds. Yeah, but he, he's been ringing me. Yeah, he's been ringing me too, and Gran. What's he got to do with Carla firing you? Uh, Carla didn't, didn't fire me. Why didn't you say all that? Thank God. He, he must have found it. The manual? Yeah, yeah, he found it. They think he'd never driven a car before. The, the manual? Oh, there's an orange light flashing. He's been trying to get hold of Gran. He can't. He's been trying to get hold of you. He's been pestering me, asking where Gran is. Anyway, it's fine. He's back now. I've seen him. When? Just now. What's the matter? I, I, I was just walking up the road with Jenny and he's pulled up. He's so boring. Anyway, he told me to give you these. And uh, apparently you were in for petrol. Uh, and then the... Uh, roof box, the, the wood chippings. Oh, they sold out. They all right? Yeah. Josie's reading them a story, Pinocchio. What's all this? Well, I've cooked tea for you. Us. Oh, what are we having? Burgers. Get in. <laughs> Hey, what you think? Oh! <laughs> what are the chips doing in there? Well, I'll explain after. Well, that's our crayons in that. I hope you washed it out. Yes, of course I've washed it. Come on. Tell me what you think. Doing your dinner now. We'd run out of wood chippings. Oh, who had? Fresh coes. You believe that? So they advertise, they put flies up everywhere, and by the time you get there, they've gone. <laughs> wow, you are sad. Hey, have you seen what it's like out there? We need to save money where we can. Yeah, Gary came storming into the calf today, trying to embarrass me in front of Blake. I won't worry about Blake. Hmm. I ask why they're opening a refugee center instead of sorting out all the British people living on the streets and I'm a racist. Well, Maria said she's going to arrange something so people can ask those sort of questions in like a proper setting. No, they'd only turn on me. You know these blokes you were hanging around with? Do you? Do you think they were like alpha males? They were compared to you, yeah. How'd you work that out? You're a hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, but I, I provide for you, don't I? Feed you, clothe you. I mean, isn't that your, your idea of a man? Yeah, I'm not saying that what Griff did was right, or any of them. I'm just saying at least they stood up for what they believe in. Yeah, well, you're not turning out like him. Do you hear me? Or any of them. Won't have it, Max. I think the sauce could do with a bit more work. You're joking, are you? Cheers, I'm not kidding. That was the best burger I have ever, ever tasted. And believe you me, I've had a few. <laughs> but what's it got to do with that dream you had? So, I dreamt that I opened my own burger place. Oh. Craft burgers. And my signature dish, yeah, was the Chez burger. <laughs> Anyway, when Deb gave me that beef that needed eating, it, it, it was like a sign. 
I know I can't do it now, not with you setting up your thing and, you know, getting married. But one day, you know, I want to get the recipe just right, to design a proper logo, get my own premises, staff, and get my food hygiene certificates. Hmm. Yeah. One day I'll do it. Well, I will drink to that. Cheers. I've never heard her mentioned. Yeah, but she's not someone you brag about. She crushed Daisy's dad. See, it took him years to regain his confidence. But how could you go that long without checking in on your own daughter? I don't get that, mate. Do you know, she barely got in touch when Tom died. I mean, it was long after the funeral, I know that much. Oh, some people. Carla gave us a right grilling before. Oh, right, why? You know why. Look, that, that label was nothing to do with us. Well, she nearly called the police and everything. Did Mrs. Connor speak to you and all? Yeah, Alice. Oh, she'll calm down. Well, you just put us in a very difficult position. But I wasn't there. How is that so hard to believe? Well, your uncle looked guilty as sin. That is a cup of tea. You can't get a decent one over there. You have to use about eight bags. Same all over Europe. Is that why you've come home, or did Holland give you the shove? You know, I bet she couldn't get a residence permit because she was dossing on a boat. My little girl is getting married. Can you not just accept that I'm happy for you? You've got nowhere to live. Well, fear not. I shan't be bedding down here. We're a bit full. No. Oh. Do you know, it reminds me of your great-grandmother's place in Ashton with all the little sort of trinkets and whatnot. Do you remember? Yeah, of course I do. Oh. Oh, actually, that tea's gone right through me. Upstairs, you can't miss it. Oh, two shakes. I know it's my fault. I've said I'm sorry. On the plus side, let's hope you've shaken that stalker off. Mm. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. I would take the flowers. Contestants get to live their best life with 50,000 euros as long as they don't get caught. Loaded in Paradise is streaming now on ITVX. Next tonight over on ITV2, a game of Never Have I Ever causes tension in the villa in brand new Love Island. Next on ITV1, we've brand new drama, Maternal. <laughs> 